Hello everybody, my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge called Pop Calc. Now hopefully with the help of this challenge we'll be able to cover or scratch the surface of uh, on what on challenges uh, on what you can do if you have no idea what to do now here we have a description saying that we have created a new calculator application to fit all your mathematical needs give it a try this is the URI and if we navigate to this you'll see that we get a beautiful calculator now if you click on the buttons you'll see that it is working as expected and if you hit equal to you see that uh, you get the response now there are two things that could be happening here first is that everything is being happen is being ha is happening on the client side using javascript in that case we will not be able to exploit this so what we can do is we can in that scenario what we can do is we can try to brute force some of the directories and see of any other hidden functionalities that this website offers but on the other side if a request is being made to the server side then potentially we have a bigger or a greater surface area attack surface so if we click on command U if you are on a Mac or control U if you are on Windows you'll see that you have the basic buttons here and you have an on click append to expression function and here I think you should have uh, append to expression and you have a function called calculate now from this you can see that there is an XML HTTP request being sent so what will happen here is, what is happening here is the request is being made to the server side so lucky for us uh, nothing is happening on the client side so let's just uh, enable burp suit with our um, browser and let's just click on intercept and if I click on equal to you'll see that I get a request here if I just send this you'll see that I get it back as it is now what happens if I were to send any illegal characters that are not expect expected by a calculator expression uh, 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 calculator so you'll see that you get an error now what can we do right here because uh, what can help you right here is error messages but here you can see that the errors are being redacted you cannot see any error uh, so what happens if I were to just send a bunch of random characters you will see that nothing happens so there are two things that can happen or we can imagine as of now first of all either this application is uh, hosted on a Python server for example if, if I write in Python, if I write import os, os.system and or and anything that you pass to the server or anything that you pass from here is directly being going here, is directly going here and you can kind of uh, exploit this because there is no sanitization. So to do that what you can try to do is you can type in curl and you can spawn up your own ngrock http 80 and here you have the url link if you get a hit on this you can kind of expect that uh, no you can kind of expect if you had i got a hit on this i could have expected that there is command injection possible but there is not so what i can do is i can see or i can append these back ticks to see uh, or to evade any filters and here you can see that I get no callback so the next thing that you can try is SSTI which is server side template injection one of the ways you can try to do is 7 into 7 now if I get uh, 49 back it will be a server side template injection and as you can see it is server side template injection so there are a lot of ways in which you can confirm server side template injection in my case this worked because I knew and I, I had tried a bunch of uh, payloads but for those of you who do not know what you can try to do is just go to your any your favorite browser just type in SSTI oh, I'm sorry about that SSTI and you can just type in payloads you can go to hacktricks 
and you'll see a lot of uh, payloads right here. So depending on the framework that is being used, you'll have a lot of options. So I use this. Uh, this can also be used in Java and this can also be used in Jinja. So with Jinja too, you can have the same payload and it will work uh, beautifully. Uh, I'm looking for a payload that I can use here. So all of these are Java based payloads uh, looking for the one that can lead to command execution because uh, if you get uh, server side template injection uh, what you can also do is get uh, it to command execution okay uh, Jinja is a Python based framework and the one that I'm getting here is uh, solely based on Java so let's just see if we get any and then there we go we have some based on Python so we have Jinja 2 right here and let's just see if we can get it to let's append a dollar sign let's you are encode it and here you see that we are operating as root or the user that is running this application is a root user let's type in ls and you'll see flag.txt file so thank you guys this is it for the video